I hope you're, you're gonna be hitting well, correctly, then the blade will survive today. Because I wanna work a little bit of attack on prep. And that means you're gonna have to, this is like right up Dimitri's alley. You're a big, strong guy. So you have to close in distance fast and strong. But if you're gonna twist your arm, you're gonna break the blade. I'm just giving you that little forwarding so that way you don't actually overdo it, okay? Be light. All right, very simple. On my movement forward, half step towards me, back foot shoots out and get out. All right, so you want to ideally kind of little half step, back foot lift, pump, and both feet will glide out of there. All right, so you pre present, provoke, good. Right. One little suggestion, don't take like when you fainted, finish everything at once. You end up getting out in one, two. You want to faint one, get out two. That's it, not another tempo to it. I see it. Land at the same time, bam, much better, yes. Very good. Now, once you have done this, so in and out, as I commit, hop in through six opposition. And that's how you might break the blade. <laughs> so you gotta close in that six. Right. Right. So don't end up lunging out, don't end up launching your body. Everything's gotta come in like a whatever, like a pillar, like a concrete pillar. You just move it sideways. Uh, And close in, no touch. Disengage, six opposition. Now, provoke, in and out, up, bend your arm. Oh, lock it in. So, as I enter, disengage, tip up with the fingers, tip up. Oh, there you go. And as you hop in forward, tip down. That's what should happen. That's how the drive should happen. Yeah, uh, up, tip up, down. Up, down. Okay, don't get pushed out. Hold that six. You're stronger than me, buddy. You should be able to dash it out. You're getting pushed out quite a bit in there. Make sure that before you hop in, in yeah, you tip up and it's completely right at 12 o'clock on my belga, right? So you're not somewhere sideways. There should be an effect of scissors. As you're going in, up, this portion right here is gonna just shh, like hot knife through butter, go in. Much better, but don't end up lunging. Hop in, bring your pelvis forward with you. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's right, knock it out. Pop. Overshot me, right? So a little too high. To be honest, your arm does not need to be that high up. The top of the bell guard, just at the shoulder height. That's all it is. Up and pushing forward. Think boxing, right? Nobody's punching down like this in here. They're all tucked in, jab. Throws it right in here, basically at the shoulder level. Up. Uh. Uh, don't get pushed out. Also, you work out, you know, when you're doing dumbbell flies, you never completely straight locked out arms because it's gonna over push you. So same thing here. Don't give me 110% extension. Give me 80% extension. So you're a little bit like, you know, like the beach is that way, but not quite, just up and be able to lock me in. Where's the touch? There's no penetration. It's your attack on my preparation. So you gotta anticipate the spot. Again, you gotta beat me to the spot. Somewhere over here is the center. If I get here first, I get the touch. You get hit there first, I'm behind you getting the touch. Yeah. And anticipate, oh, excellent. I right, skip enough. You see, you see where you're saluting me? Hello, everybody. <laughs> Keep everything locked in, tight. Much better. Oh, now you see I'm raising you up. Be strong enough to not let me push you out. Oh, 
There you go. Oh, you see what position your arm puts in all of a sudden. You're not completely locked in. You have some control in this. Straight arm is dead arm. Penetrate with the hips. Right. Good. Good. Okay, okay. That's it, that's it. As I come in, as soon as I touched one, as I lift up, close in. That's right. Don't, don't over search, right? Just keep a straight line. I am cutting over, there's lots of things happening. Don't be the fool that ends up chasing gold here and here ends up with nothing, right? That's it, B-line, right there. Good. Yeah, don't hesitate. Come up. Come right. Touch. That's it. There you go. Pump. That's right. That's it. A little for it. Just don't twist anything. All right. We'll do a little disengage first, then we'll do when I'm cutting over. In and out. Up, I'm searching. You come right in, hop. See, I'm getting you. Right here. My sternum. Aim right for the sternum. I don't need you to break line or break any angle. Again, think of a jab. But in our case, we jab into the outside shoulder, or we can just turn the little bit, everything, and put still straight. We want to have everything behind the, the grip. So much power in a punch. Most power in a punch, I should say. No hit. Don't end up just, you know, throwing your arm in here. Up and drive it in. If you had a spear that could not flick, think of it that way. How would you penetrate it, right? Oh, that's a touch. And that's how you fence. Welcome to Man's Epic. Papa. Don't break that line. Get it inside. Okay. Oh, oh, there you go. See, that way is straight. You don't want to end up breaking this. That's where you're straight. A little bit of a diagonal path, that's all. Oh, don't search. So the key, this is where most people, as soon as you get searched, most people disengage and also look into search to make sure they have that opposition. You don't need those insurance policies. You're going to disengage and again, aim for the target. The fastest route to the target is a straight line, focus on hitting the target. And here's what you gotta remember. If my blade is there, you're gonna cut right through this blade and you're gonna end up getting that position. If I'm too aggressive, you disengage and I'm overshooting, it don't matter, you're going through the same path. Don't waste your time. Nicely done, there you go. I overshoot too much. There you go. Um, and that's right. No, you're searching. At, at the end, you ended up taking circle four. We don't need that. In this case, it's not position. It's your attack. It's not pair repo. Now, in order to provoke me, right? You see, if you're doing a straight attack and I'm just parrying you off, I'm not gonna come out. I'm going to only come out if I'm afraid that if I just keep defending, eventually I'm going to get that hit. So if I pair you six, come in with disengage. If I pair you six and four on the other side, next time double disengage, right? Um, yes. Up, hop right in. That's right. That's all good. That's okay. Let's work through it. Disengage. There you go. That's it. Like two pistons. Puff, puff. That's right. Uh, that's right. No, don't parry there. So you had me and then you did one of these before you come out. Just hop, use the time. Use efficiency. Aye, aye, aye. Try it again. No hesitation, that's it.
Oh, bah, very good. Yes. That's okay. So now take a look. Yes, your legs are working hard, but this right here, cool. Cool as a cucumber. <laughs> you know? One smooth motion and back. Perfect. Pop, pop, close in. That's it. Good. Nice double this thing is. That's it. Up, one. Very good. One more. Wait. Okay. Now, for the grand finale. That's it. I understand you're going to look to attack on prep. I'm not done. I'm going to look to set up second intention. Like show eight, take six, or shit. Double disengage. So you provoke in and out. And you're going to come in, extend your arm, one disengage, no movement. Disengage again, then come in with the attack. Right? Ah. Uh, Mm -hmm. Here, I'll keep it simpler. Straight, puff, puff, I'm coming in. One, two, that's your touch. In, out, good. One, two. Don't end up doing all of this on half arm over here. With a disengage, you gotta be perfect. You, you turn the wrong direction, I got you, right? So, be careful. Good. That's right. That's better. Just don't break anything. Ah. That's better. Better. Ah. Once. So this is where it gets complicated, right? Don't try to count the number of disengages. Let's think of it in terms of concepts. Two layers. Layer of preparation you got to put the threat on that hand. Either directly with a disengage, double disengage, disengage or cut over, multiple combinations. From there is when you know your opponent is going to do second intention. So your two disengages only start after I start moving towards you. <clears throat> right, if I don't move, good. That's a good threat. I could come out on that, right? If I parry, now you know. Prep with a disengage. Good. Palm, I'm pairing you all the time, so double. Don't hop yet. One, two, only move forward on the extension, on the hit. One, two, I'm taking one, two, you enter. Oh, if you can keep track of that, you're gonna have hope at Summer Nationals. <laughs> Let's go, July knock, here we come. Double. One, two, nice third. Right, you want to bring the distance in. Hop in, oh, that's it. Uh, one, two, aye, aye, aye. <laughs> yeah, okay, let's get on the line. Good. Yeah. Uh -huh, double disengage. One, two, that's right. Gotcha. <laughs> Don't chase. I know you. <laughs> Don't chase. Only on opponent's step forward and a little entry. If you see something open and you think you can get it, if it looks to be too good to be true, it probably is. <laughs> Ah, don't break that line. Should have been good six there, right? <laughs> That's the way you do it. Yeah. Up. Nice entry. That's right. Up. One, two. Okay. Let's go. Last one. This is difficult. Double disengage entry. Second intention. That's right. That's better. Yeah. Better, yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> mm. 
That's right. That's right. Fine. Keep track of it. Keep track where I'm located. I know. Hang in there. Just let your instinct take over. Good. Whatever. Seven, eight years of training. Let your instinct happen. It's a good instinct there. That's it. Good close out. That's right. One more. Salute. 